I totally pressed the wrong button there. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. There we go. That's better. <laughs> Welcome on in, everyone. I'm so sorry. I am completely off my rocker today. I'm not feeling very well. Um, 100% coming down with a cold. Very uh, hazy minded, maybe, today. So I'm sorry if I'm not quite myself. <laughs> but welcome on in, everyone. Welcome on in. Um, I did take some reactant earlier because I was having an allergy to something else. So hopefully, I'm not snuffling all up in your, all up in your ears today. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me. That audio looks really, really low. Let me turn that up a little bit. Ooh, is that loud? Is that good? Let me know if that's too loud. That might be too loud. <laughs> Let me know. Yeah, Rad, for sure. I hope you feel better as well, because it's it's not fun. Like, I know that I'm not focusing properly. I know that I'm not quite here. <laughs> um, but I hope everyone is having a really good, uh, really good Saturday. Um, I hope your weekends have been going well. You had a very, hopefully, good week. Hopefully productive, and you can just relax on the weekend. Audio's good on your end? Alright, awesome. Perfect. Just want to make sure it wasn't like too loud or anything like that. Okay, so um, I'm gonna scroll up in chat and say hello to everyone. So, Tasty Flower, you've been in here with me for quite a while. Strat Cherry, hello, Pepper. Uh, Matt Suri, how are you doing today? Welcome back, Perfect Luster. Uh, Jay Tepic, hello. Froshi, welcome back as well. Booper Duper, I love that name. Um, Blintz, hello. Constant Exhaustion, welcome back, William. Tea suitor, potato singer, hello. Uh, ooh, it's okay. <laughs> the time in my game is slightly behind proper time, so ignore, ignore that. Memory's just a couple of minutes behind. <laughs> um, random novice. Uh, that sounds like random novice, but two different people. Uh, Fudge monkey, welcome back. Bree, how are you doing today? Uh, Angel, hello, cat. I'm sorry that you're so stressed out. I feel you. <laughs> Rosie, hello. James Bartlow, welcome back. Uh, do, do, do. Exhaustion, I'm sorry you had, like, you know, such a rough time doing that essay. I'm glad. Well, I'm, I'm assuming you're finished it, which is good. Also, Donut, I got to try out that game. I think it was you who was mentioning yesterday, the uh, Harvest Town one, and I actually really like it. So, if that was you, thank you so much for suggesting it. Uh, Ollie Singh, hello. What else have we got? T Dog Smalls, hello. Welcome on in here. Um, I think I said hello to everyone. Random Ghoulie, hello. Pikmin Lover, Bamboo was here, hello. Kitty Cat, Zuka. Uh, who else have we got? Let me see here. Uh, Caroline, hello. How's it going? Uh, Misguided M, welcome back. Katharina, hello. Uh, Meowies, welcome on in here. Need some Pepsi. Pepsi cures all. On a serious note, hope you feel better soon. Thank you. Random, I have a funny image to show you later. Speaking of Pepsi, I forgot to send it to you last night. Um, or to the mods in general, I guess. Emily Spillman, hello. Lucas Reductive. Uh, foul ball to the eye during baseball practice. That's productive, right? That sounds painful. I'm sorry about that. My god. <laughs> How's your eye doing? Yeah, Stretcher, I know. <laughs> Uh, Butterscotch Ships, hello, how are you doing? Is this game worth getting? I've always wondered if I should get it also high. Um, it depends. Do you have a Switch? If you have a Switch, I might recommend waiting because the next installment of this game, uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons, is coming out at the beginning of next year. Um, and this game is getting a bit older. If you don't plan on getting a Switch or you don't have one or whatever, definitely look into this. It's a really fun game. Uh, it's aged pretty well, actually, for a handheld. Fallen Roses, hello. And Donut, that was you. Awesome. <laughs> I was like, I think it was Donut. Alright, well, we'll see you later. Did finish the essay. Took a lot of big brain power, but I did. Awesome. Just playing some Majora's Mask. The Scooby-Doo playing in the background. Ooh! Man, that sounds like a mood. I'd be down for that. <laughs> Lola Bear, hello. Um, I didn't turn on the bot. I didn't turn on the bot. Gosh darn it. Give me a second. <laughs> the bot reminded me to turn it. Gosh darn it, I'm so bad at this. I'm a professional streamer, I promise. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> also, this is gonna freeze my gameplay, give me a second. I know it's frozen, don't mind it. It's thinking about its life. <laughs> hey Brandon, I'm sorry you're not feeling too well. Are you gonna stream New Horizons every day or are you gonna keep the same schedule? Uh, the schedule's gonna be changed, but definitely not every day because I will burn out in like a month probably if I do that. Um, but we will be changing it up. It's not going to be like once a week or anything like that. 
much more frequently. Um, I'm hoping to get through some games before then, though. Uh, okay, the bot is on on my end. Give me a second. Gameplay is gonna disappear for a moment. And... There it is. Perfect. <laughs> uh, Clementine, hello. About to nap. But Saturday, it's the only ACNL day. Technically, we also have tomorrow, but you're absolutely right. I hope you're doing good today. Lady Philo, hello. Uh, people outside were blasting music in their car. It's 4 a.m. Oh my god, jeez. Why are people like that? <laughs> I don't understand the, the thought process. Only have a 2 XL. The only Animal Crossing I've played is the one on the Wii. I'd say if you're interested, definitely look into it. I know this game has come down in price quite a lot. It's a really good one. There's still a very large community who plays it, so I recommend it. Ah, uh, but I think it's okay. Sickness dominates professionalism, don't worry, thank you. Uh, I gotta... I gotta ask... Random, remind me. <laughs> remind me about asking Twitch to get a sub for that bot. I keep forgetting. I was actually waiting until it ran out anyway, but I should honestly put that in. <laughs> it's silly by City Folk, but Nintendo was selling it for like 20. Oh, I shot just thought it'd be less expensive by now. Yeah, some Nintendo games, or Nintendo games in general, have a nasty habit of not going down in price. It's Unreal, hello, how you doing? Mr. Darkseed, welcome back. Uh, Lewis, hello, Padfoot, Katie, welcome on in, everyone. Um, if you guys hear clicking in the background, by the way, Mike is here, he's playing Minecraft, <laughs> and that's probably the noise you're hearing. Um, took my stepdaughter to see Spongebob the Musical, it's playing in my hometown, it's surprising it wasn't as painful as I was imagining. That's good. I feel like a lot of, like, maybe children's based movies and productions and stuff like that do have some stuff for adults in it, um, so that the adults are, you know, horribly bored <laughs> sitting there. I want to play Stardew, but I lack motivation. I want to draw, but Inktober took all my energy and I just want to sit and do nothing. I feel that. <laughs> hey, Stargazers, how's it going? Has he sorted it yet? The Phantom? Uh, Pepper's asking. Pepper's asking about a Phantom. Yeah. He says yes. <laughs> Sorry, I, I have no clue what you guys are doing in Minecraft. I haven't been on. I've Apple's been phantom. staring at the wall. We did release Apple Apple's phantom inside a shop. Oh. Uh, um, because it's trapped in the same mode. Yeah, I remember that. So we saved the villager and then we trapped the thing. Octoblur with the three month reset. Oh my god, there's there's a lot happening at the moment. Octoblur, thank you so very much for that three month reset. You got a new heart in chat. Enjoy it. <laughs> and also, uh, Eclipse with the. Was that a two month resub? Thank you guys so very much. I don't really. I feel like you guys always hit me with the resubs and like all this love whenever I'm not feeling quite here and I feel really guilty about it. Never when I'm like on the ball, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, but thank you guys so very much. I hope you're both having good days. Finally got to the dentist today. Need to go to the hospital to get wisdom teeth out. Might be a few weeks till then, so temporary feel like. Oh! Best of luck. Oh, that's what I'm scared of happening to me. <laughs> I hope everything goes okay. Enjoy the ni nitrous oxide. Mike says enjoy the nitrous oxide. I don't... I'm not gonna... Eh. <laughs> You're so sleepy. You were out all day. Oh, boy. Oh, Octavir, do you like the, the Luigi emote? We have a new emote incoming, by the way, you guys. I was supposed to upload it today, but I have not been quite here. Um... Again, done by the wonderful Stratchery. Um, and I don't think anyone knows- well, a couple people know what it is. But, <laughs> it, uh, it'll be up probably tomorrow, if I remember. I- I've just been not quite fully here. But, 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 and I do mean, like, large butts. Um, good. The screen works. Okay. <laughs> um, we... Have something that we're doing today. It's gonna take all of about like two seconds, but we are doing something in, in ACNL today. It's a very big day. I wonder if anyone can guess what it is. <laughs> Sir, so, no, that's pretty cool. Do you mean like proper placement on the keyboard and stuff like that, maybe? Or also Neptune? Hello. <laughs> uh, oh, bad <laughs> Can give you a reminder, I just don't want to- No, no, you can go ahead, Stretcher. I'm, I'm gonna need it. Like, I'm not fully focused today, and I just accept that. 
Just finished your cinnamon toast. Ooh. Build your birthday? No, oh, not that I'm aware of. <laughs> now that you said that makes me nervous. You can go ahead and close the curtains, yeah. Give me a second, I'm gonna mute the mic. Give me a second, you guys. There we go, sorry. Mike had to pull the curtains because the sun was smacking him in the face. And uh, that would be a loud noise. <laughs> um, KK Slider? No, but we can time travel and do that. Animal Crossing Switch, hello, how you doing? Fishing tourney, uh, I don't know if that's going on today. I don't think it is. Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> Wookie Eevee, hello, how you doing? Muting Mike for Mike, essentially, essentially. No, today, you guys, I'll show you guys what we're doing. I'll show you guys what we're doing. Observe the bottom screen that is up high at the moment. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, we have caught every single bug except for that one right there. Every single bug. And I think think if I was reading the wiki right when I made my completion list we need to catch a ladybug that is the very last thing we need to catch and I believe it's available in October from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. if I was reading it correctly so uh, I don't think I've um, have I did I finish the bugs in in Rosewolf I don't think I did either way we need to find a ladybug, and now that I, now that it's the last one we need, guaranteed we're not gonna find one. <laughs> I, uh, I'm gonna start off today by seeing if we can find one because that's kind of a cool achievement, and then that means all we need are two deep sea creatures and one fish after that. Watch as I can't find it though. I swear. Pretty pass. Thank you. <laughs> Epilumbi, yes, we got these new pals. I want to say maybe like a week or two ago? Two weeks? Three weeks, maybe? Encyclopedia New Horizons is probably going to be so big. I really hope so. Um, I really hope that they add a lot more. Um, as well, and this is just me personally, I'd love to see a gyroid section to the museum. Oh, we have a black rose. I mean, that's cool. Some time ago. <laughs> Just gonna yoink that, thank you. Done dailies already? No. No, we have not. We're starting off doing things a little bit differently. I figure, you know, we usually do things in the same order every single day, and that's gonna get stale. So we're, we're tossing it up and doing things a little bit backwards today. Um, now, the funny thing is, I was playing City Folk earlier today, watering my flowers, and I saw ladybug after ladybug. <laughs> and in this town, just watch. We're not gonna find one. Just you wait and watch. I'm like eyeing, side eyeing all my all my plants. Um, uh, oh, excuse you. You can't be doing that. I need a new path, but first I'm gonna plot reset. Then keep the new human. Best of luck. Best of luck with the plot resetting. I know it's a little bit frustrating. <laughs> I actually don't think I've ever been excited for a game as I am for New Horizons, I just need it. You know, I feel like my hype isn't quite where it should be just yet for New Horizons, but I feel like the closer it gets. Oh! <laughs> He's like, you didn't see anything. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, we're gonna talk to you later, you have fun with that tree. That's really funny. <laughs> I forgot that he wanders around so early. Hey, Queen of Size, how are you doing today? Pepper, you got McDonald's? Ooh, I could kind of go, no. See, I'm hungry, but I'm not hungry. <laughs> hype is for Sword and Shield, yes. I am, that's kind of where my hype is at the moment as well. And I'm kind of still riding off of Dragon Quest XI. So, <laughs> um, Sword and Shield look fantastic so far. Munching a salad. Sounds good. Sounds healthy. Love it. Jack is a tree hugger confirmed. I <laughs> uh, feel so tempted to restart my town, but at the same time, this is the only time I've actually tried with, and I'm not done with it. I I, I used to be a chronic resetter, so I, I know, you know, that feeling. Um, definitely sleep on it. <laughs> you don't want to... 
Oh, that was it. Oh, that's so frustrating. Okay, it's fine. We'll get another one. <laughs> um, sorry, what was I going on about? Uh, definitely sleep on it and think about it because you don't want to regret deleting your town or anything. Oh, Josh Star, well, welcome on in. I'm glad I was able to help you out a little bit there. F for Ladybug. <laughs> Uh, I was just watching memory number 40, or episode 47, Mike's first trip to the island with three viewers. I, see, I do remember that vaguely. Very vaguely. I wish I could remember more. Oh, there it is. I wish I could remember more details in my own episodes, honestly. Uh, Josh Star, thank you so much for the follow and for the host. Much appreciated. Are you guys ready? This is the very last bug. Very last one. <laughs> Caught a ladybug, or is this one a man? I wonder what my encyclopedia says about my new catch. Does that mean that... I've caught every type of bug. This is going straight into the museum. I am so happy. We've... I don't think I've ever been this close to completing an encyclopedia in any of my towns. Not Rose Wolf, not Rose um, Wood, <laughs> not Curved Down, none of them. None of them. So I'm, I'm really happy. And all things considering, this town isn't even a year old yet. <laughs> so I'm, I'm really happy about that. Um, now, now the question is, I tried my best playing through this game to make sure that every single bug I caught, every single fish, every single deep sea creature, I donated straight away to the museum. You guys have seen me do that time and time again, like, you know, ignore a villager pinging me or whatever, whatever. I have something on me. <laughs> As Red just said. <laughs> uh, the question is, though, was I successful? Did I actually manage to donate absolutely everything? I don't know if he'll say anything, though, actually. I'm not positive he will. He does. Beg your pardon, I just don't like handling these things much. Well, a liggity bug. This lay bug here reminds me vaguely of when I was but a chick in my mother's nest. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was about to get rather carried away there. Anywho, I promise we'll take good care of this critter. We'll display it later with a more detailed description, so please come back to see it. Thank you very much. Uh, Ollie, thank you so very much for the biddies for the ladybug. <laughs> much appreciated. You got all the fish a few days ago? Eclipse, that is awesome. Congratulations. Haven't gotten all the art yet, Queen says. I think the art is kind of one of the harder ones to finish, honestly. The board outside will tell you if he doesn't. Okay. Is this the last insect we need to complete our collection? Our in ooh, ooh, talking. Our insect uh, exhibition is complete. Oh, how my heart flutters just to imagine it. Ugh, perhaps flutters is the wrong word for it. More like shudders, but I'll manage, I suppose. It's for the greater, oh, sorry, greatest good and the sake of our museum, so you have my deepest thanks. Yeah, I did things. Let's go take a look. <laughs> That's awesome. So, officially done with bugs. Um, which is cool. So we fish deep sea creatures. No. We fish bugs first. We fish bugs before fish, deep sea creature creatures, artwork. Wow. Yeah. You can see all of them. Um, I feel like we always come in here to appreciate the tarantula and scorpion, but can we take a moment to look at that dung beetle? Look at how hard it's working. As I say that, it stops moving, honestly, though. Same. <laughs> Then there's these ones who are like fighting who I didn't realize until you guys pointed it out because something about it is hilarious. <laughs> Praise Beetle. <laughs> there we go. That's pretty cool though. Oh. Oh, well, you know what? For old time's sake, that's fine. If you do that again, I swear to goodness. The fly solder's coming out. And the What's the word of the bug spray raid? I don't even know. <laughs> I didn't uh, know they could sting you inside. Neither did I. I think I probably did at some point, but 
And then, of course, you always gotta appreciate these two for having a moment. This guy is just, like, having the best time of his life over here. These guys are gonna be locked in an eternal struggle. Stepped on like a bajillion of them there, but it's fine. We have more to spare. Imagine all these bugs in HG, New Horizons hype. Yeah, it's gonna be gross. <laughs> Should be interesting, though. Um, but yeah, that means that we are done with the bug exhibit. Uh, we have one fish left, which is in November. Uh, we have two deep sea creatures left. One in November, one starting in March. So it's probably gonna be the very last thing we get. And then, uh, four paintings, four statues, although I think Red has one of the paintings that I need. So, we're, we're doing pretty good. <laughs> Random ghoulie, yes. I personally, yes, but on stream, I want to keep my streams family friendly, if at all possible. So you will not hear me really say too much. I, occasionally something might slip out, but I don't try to. Uh, the Hidden 64, thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> Wonder if we'll have an option of having stinky gloom flower in our towns on purpose in New Horizons. That would be, that would be different. Also, Amber Giraffe, thank you so much for the follow. The washing machine has finished because Crystal's gone live, of course. Uh, Ali? Ali? Ali Jod? Wait, I don't know if I'm saying your name right, but welcome on in. How are you doing? March DC creature is that one? Uh, let me check. The March DC, uh, March deep sea creature is the spider crab, so yeah. That one's gonna be fun. This could be the very last thing we get, I'm assuming, unless there's a painting or a statue that just <laughs> evades us for that entire time. I'm doing pretty good. Um, I'm coming down with a little bit of a cold, so I'm sorry if I sound a little bit uh, off today, but welcome on in. I used to swear so much when I was around my nephew, it was so hard not to swear. Yeah, I, uh, it's kind of like putting on, you know, your work face versus your at-home face. Almost is what I kind of, uh, associate it with. Uh, and Ali Jedwee, thank you very much for the, uh, for that follow. Don't forget you're getting the gold bug encyclopedia badge from Phineas. Yeah, we'll see if he comes out today or if he'll be here next time we play, maybe. No worries, Pepper. Take your time. Curse less since you started this job? Yeah. It's actually funny because the last job I worked before I became full-time on here um, was in the transportation industry and there was swearing in the office constantly. It was a very different environment than what I had been used to. Um, <laughs> uh, but even there I was still very like, I don't say such things at work. So. Oh, have you, Straw Jerry? <laughs> Feel you're always getting sick? I suffer from uh, seasonal allergies of various kinds that kind of hit me year round, so I always sound or feel like I'm getting sick, but when I actually get sick, it hits me really hard. I heard that the right decor in your house can make napping three times as satisfying. You should recommend some, blah, blah, blah. Should recommend some furniture to me. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let me see what I can find you. My Uchi pig suggested the bus stop today. After that for months. Awesome. Oh, structure. <laughs> well, now you know at least, right? Yeah, queen of size. That's essentially it. Um, I don't want to sell anything. What am I doing? I think this will work for Cube, right? Uh, holy snow, thank you so much for that eight month of resub. We're one month away from a sub baby. You better start thinking the names. Thank you so very much for that. Oh, I don't know. I'm glad, you know, things are going well in that department for sure. And Norking, welcome on in. How are you doing today, dude? 
Okay. So, Cube, you get this flower. Mm. Not this flower, sorry. Mm. I'm gonna put down this flower and then I'm gonna give you your, uh, your uh, item here. Oh, there you are. Did he just change back to his default shirt? Is that his default shirt? Bad immune system, so when I get sick it hits hard? Yeah. It's not fun. <laughs> uh, how about this? Nice! I had my eye on a soft serve lamp just like this one. I can't wait to see how it looks. Uh, it's gonna be great. Uh, is it Dagger? Let me know if that's how you want me to say your name. Welcome on in. It's a cassette player. Ooh, throwing it old school cube. Love it. Uh, and then Bob, you've changed your shirt, I think, since last time. <laughs> Parents are gone for the weekend, so I'm watching Jack while watching your stream and playing some backlog games on 360. Sounds chill. Sounds pretty chill. Alright, Gully, we'll see you later. Sick for four weeks now and it just won't budge. That's so frustrating. My goodness. I hate it when you get sick and then you start to feel better, but you have like that residual cough. Uh, this is short notice, but wanna come see my place? I've got a lot of stuff I want to show off. Sure. Oh, I thought you meant like right now, buddy. Fine. Three o'clock it is. Someone remind me we're going to Bob's. Remind me. Not now. Don't you dare do it now. I'm waiting for you guys. At 2.55. Don't remind me right now. You smart, Alex. <laughs> um, so fitting for any of the penguins? Yeah. Um, that's one of my favorite catchphrases. He was, like, thinking about that for a good minute there. <laughs> Just remembered that I was supposed to meet Mitzi at five. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, it is... I'm assuming past five-year time right now, Sartre? Can't stand the delayed visits I always forget. Yeah, same here. I'm really not a big fan of them. Um... Uh, they're just a little bit frustrating. It's 8.30? Oh my goodness. Did I get the mail earlier? I guess I did. Uh, to Smooth Crystal, thanks for coming to visit. No matter what you say, I don't think my place is good enough for you, but you're still welcome anytime. Take this thank you gift from me, hardworking Phoebe. Thank you. And then from Gaston. To Crystal, I bought this because I was thinking it wouldn't be so bad if you wore something like this from time to time. And no, I'm not your mother, Gaston. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's very nice. Very nice. Is that one that you needed? Hey, Vladista, how's it going? Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> what did Gaston send me? Get Excuse you? I'm 25. <laughs> okay. Oh no! <laughs> Guess it all. I feel offended. Bring back my rainbow feather, man. Wait. One of them sent me a tape deck, the other one sent me a cassette player. Oh no, wait, cassette player was from Cube. Right. Uh, and then we got our interest from uh, the. Oops. Bells in our savings account, because it was the beginning of the month. No, I'm not your mother since Baby Bonnet. <sighs> Man, <laughs> I don't ask for a lot. My villagers are constantly shaming me, dragging me, whatever you want to say. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Oh, I was just about to use the weather as an excuse, but I'm not going to lose the weather. I'm not going to lose to anything. Oh boy. Why are we... The weather is perfect. Not even a cloud in the sky and he's like, yeah, I, I don't feel like doing this today. Call him old man so he calls you a baby seems fair to me. I don't call him an old man. He is an old man. The <laughs> difference. <laughs> Okay, I don't really want any of this stuff though, to be honest with you, so we're just gonna go ahead and make a profit. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, Dagger, it depends. Do you already have a Switch? I'd say if you already have a Switch, just wait for New Horizons, but... You know, if you're not planning on getting one or you don't, maybe look into New Leaf for sure. How many public works parts do you have? I think 30. I think we have the max. Okay. Let's go ahead and look for our fossils, do our usual dailies, make sure our villages are good, which by the way, do you guys remember last stream? Um, I think it was Kevin was considering moving out, but he hadn't pinged us for that yet. I don't think he ever pinged me for it. At least not that I'm remembering, and I'm a bit concerned that he might actually be trying to leave. So, <laughs> we need to fix that real quick. Okay, I don't know why these are all here. And aren't meant to be here. Rizik, I think that's how you want me to say your name. Um, I don't mod my game at all. I don't know how to answer that, unfortunately. Um, maybe someone else does. I've never heard about moving houses or stuff like that. I use a not a mod or anything like that or a hack to influence where villagers move in. Because you can do that legit through the game without having to hack or mod or anything. Hey, Moonpop Gaming. How's it going today? Welcome on in. Um, I'm gonna take this and put it over by the bell. Gosh, there's so many flowers that are just kind of like out of place over here. Give me a second. I will talk to you in a second. <laughs> also, Captain Trippers, hello. How are you doing today? Uh, let me see here. Might be too late very soon that Kevin is gonna leave. It might be. It might be. I think I saw him walking around earlier though, so I don't think he's like in boxes or anything today, but we do gotta We do gotta see if he's gonna move or not. <laughs> it's been a while since we talked, so I figured you didn't Oh, buddy. I think you just weren't around last time. Lola Bear, I use a, a method called path plot resetting. So essentially in, to briefly give a summary, in New, or sorry, in New Leaf, in the Welcome Amiibo update, they've changed it so that villagers will try and avoid placing their houses on top of your designs that you have on the ground. Um, and I essentially influenced the way that they were moving in. So you can actually see a video there that uh, Red and Random just linked. Um, I have a full tutorial on it. And if you go back to the beginning of this series, you can actually see me doing that in person. Um, as I played day by day. <laughs> Take a look at these clothes. They're designed by Reject of Unknown. Nice, aren't they? Hey, random. <laughs> I think you have a fan. I really like them, especially around the collar here, you know? I've become quite a huge admirer of Reject now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is so cute. But no, my town is not hacked. I don't know how to hack. Um, 3DS or anything like that. I'm, I've am i been told it's not that difficult. I have no real interest in learning, though. Hey, Ariel. I'm doing alright. How about you? Okay, so we have one fossil and a whole bunch of flowers that <laughs> shouldn't be here. Are you watching the bug, Gaston? <laughs> so cute. Ah, uh, Stargazers, is there any way you could message me on Discord about that? I might be interested in, in that. Let me just check my thing here real quick. Because I do need a famous painting. But <laughs> message me on Discord if you can, and I'll, I'll try and hit you up on, on that later on. This is kind of where all my spare flowers, I don't know what, what's happening with them, is going. <laughs> or are going, I should say. Uh, Fat Horse, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome on in. How are you doing today? Oh, that bothers me. <laughs> Wade the Penguin, hello. How are you doing today? Hmm. 
Okay, so... Um, I was kind of putting these off to the side until I get that blue rose, but it's been forever. <laughs> um, I just need to work on it more often, because at the moment I'm literally only watering it, like, on the weekends. And I should probably be doing it a little bit more than that, so... That's all on me. Um... So we haven't seen Bob today. We haven't seen Nidge. We've seen everyone else from this side of town. Groundhog, hello. Uh, I have to leave, but I have a cat on my lap. You see my problem? I do indeed. <laughs> I do indeed. Queen size there isn't in this channel. No, you're probably thinking of it from another channel. A uh, little bit loud party going on on my street with loud music. Oh boy. Got someone in here earlier who, you know, they had music playing outside. Someone was playing loud music in their car. <laughs> Just a loud kind of day, maybe, for some people. I uh, completely gave up on Blue Roses. I have one, but I haven't been able to get another one. See, I just want to get that one. That's all I want. I have ones that were gifted to me, so I just, I just need the one. Oh, Dagger. Well, welcome back. Okay. Uh, when do you guys think that Phineas will come around? If he will today. I don't actually know if he'll come in today or if he'll have to, like, come in later on. Oh, wait, Kevin is in his- uh-oh, uh-oh. Mayday, mayday, that's not good. Kevin, don't you dare be in boxes. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Oh, don't you dare pack up your house. You gotta shake that fruit right off the tree. No, don't give me fruit shaking tutorials. Oh, you want a cherry? Dude, I got you. Ice cream truck that drove by past my home, and I really wanted to go buy some ice cream, but I was too self-conscious about my age. Oh, I feel that. The many times I've wanted to do something, but I've been like, no, I'm too old for that. But like, I know it shouldn't bother me. <laughs> yeah, so Kevin was, or we heard rumors that Kevin was going to move out last weekend. Oh. But then he never pinged us, I don't think. I want to get your opinion on something. At what age do you think you start being grown up? Uh, honestly, it, you, it depends for some people, but I'm gonna, yeah. I see where you're coming from. That's just one other thing I've always wondered. Do you get a party and cake when you become a grown-up? I hope so. <laughs> see, part of, part of that always bothers me, because that makes it seem like the villagers are children who are living out on their own, and I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Katie, that sounds really good. Um, okay. So we need cherries. I literally buy Paw Patrol waffles. That's a children's show. Live your life, be happy. Mike, I, I, I hate porridge now, <laughs> but Mike heard from me that I was kind of, uh, this was a couple of years back, I was having like this nostalgia trip and craving for uh, Dino Egg porridge. I don't know if you guys know that what that is or if you guys have it. Uh, Tabby Slime, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome on in. And uh, he got me a whole bunch of it. And I was living my best life with that, but I never want to see it again. <laughs> I ate a little bit too much. Uh, and Bamboo was here. Thank you so much for that follow. It's very much appreciated. And you have to buy a toilet for your house and the best time of the day is sleeping. Or the shower. <laughs> What's memory? The name of this town. The name of the town. It's very gorgeous, it's so good. It was really, really good. And I, I'm glad I had the chance to try it again. Wait, no. 
There you go. Um, but for anyone who doesn't know, um, it was essentially a porridge, obviously, but it had little... I don't want to say candied, but little... Candy. Is it technically candy? It's candy? Little candied eggs in it, and because the porridge is hot, it would dissolve, and there'd be like a little dinosaur on the inside, and it'd be all over your porridge, and there were different colors, and it was cool. It was a favorite thing when I was uh, a kid. <laughs> Ooh, cabin dresser. That's actually useful for me, Kevin. Thank you. Technically, it is candy. I can never quite figure- is it literally just, like, sugar? It's just formed sugar, right? What, the dinosaurs? Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, uh, Captain Jeffers, it's a good thing you caught him. This show about puppies that save the day. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> oh, Queen of Sides, you're gonna get that song stuck in my head. <laughs> uh, cabin dresser, is that the wardrobe thing I already have? Okay, oh, wait, no, this is different. I already. I don't own this piece of furniture. That is awesome. Uh... Mm, no, I don't like that. <laughs> um... Let's... Let's do that. This is- this is not what I want it to be in the end, but it's okay. We got more storage. Well, technically, it's not more storage, but you know. You can access it in a different spot. Oh, well, Tabby Slow, I'm glad I'm able to help you out. Welcome on into the, uh, to the stream. Okay, so we still only found one fossil. <laughs> Mom wanted me to eat porridge, but I hate it, so she bought me the dino egg one. I hope they would make me like porridge, but I just ate the eggs and threw the rest. That reminds me of, like, Lucky Charms cereal when I was a kid. I just wanted the marshmallows. <laughs> Ruby Lester, I'm glad you enjoy them. Dilda Duck moved out, I'm sad, and then again, I'm also happy. I have space for a new villager. Hopefully Biscuit, but most likely not. Fingers crossed for you. Fingers crossed. I think I might actually just have all the flowers on the beach just be randomized instead of having like a pure rainbow. Just have it look really wild and like unkept, I guess, right? We'll see what that looks like, I guess. <laughs> Not quite sold on that still, but it's an idea. Okay, so... Uh, we spoke to Kevin. He is still not talking about moving out, which is a bit concerning. Hopefully we can catch him in time. Uh, Eric is not in his house. Blue Bear is not in hers. You won't like it without organization? Probably not, but I also don't really go down there very often. How do you water so many flowers? I don't. You don't need to when you have the uh, beautiful town ordinance. It makes it so that your flowers will never wilt. Which is super handy because I'm not watering all of these every single day. Uh, right, I'm putting the white ones over here. Finish my collection for the Halloween event on Pocket Camp. Those kind of flower events, but I want the furniture, so yay, I'm happy. <laughs> happy to hear it. I gotta play pocket camp again. I really just need to sit down and properly get into it. One thing you want to see in your horizons? I mean, they've already given it to me. I wanted proper paths, and that's confirmed, so <laughs> that's what I'm gonna stick with. Um, but other than that, probably better online. So if one person DCs, it doesn't boot out everyone else. Favorite villager other than Bob? I have a lot. 
I like Goldie, I like Midge, I like Gaston, Eric, Cube, Wade, uh, Shep, Bod. Like, I have a whole bunch of second favorites. Goldie, I can't remember if I said Goldie or not already. Tubby Slime, for sure. What do you, what do you... Depends on what it is, of course, but I am open to seeing if I can help. Uh, we still have time to chill before the sun goes down. Anyway, what's up? Oh, what? Oh, right, we're going- we already spoke to him. Right, we're going to his house. The other day, Eric forgot Colton's name for a second, but Colton said he didn't mind at all. I thought the situation was gonna get really awkward, but it ended up being just fine. Um, let me see here. Something back here that I really want. Uh, the Moogle Princess. I love that username. Thank you so very much for the follow. Welcome on in. How are you doing today? Why is Bob wearing the yellow shirt, man? I don't know. <laughs> my villagers don't wear what I want them to wear most of the time. She is wearing my outfit, which is kind of cool, I guess. Ever play with fans on stream? Uh, used to. I want to do that a bit more often. Um, the one thing holding me back is just the fact that if someone has poor internet and it disconnects us, it disconnects everyone. It's just a hassle to get people back in and stuff like that. Um, but I do want to start doing it more often, even if that means lots of DCs and stuff like that. Man, Colton and Midge get along really well, don't they? Do they, like, always talk about interesting stuff, or do they only keep their conversations light? Or maybe they're dreaming up some secret plot together. <laughs> you're, like, totally throwing shade when you're the one who's, like, coming up with secret plots. <laughs> Uh, Tabby Song, you could whisper one of my mods if you're comfortable with that. My whispers are not on. Nilif is so good. Nilif is fantastic. Definitely looking forward to New Horizons, but it's kind of nice to have this little bit of time to say goodbye to the game. Uh, white roses. Where was I putting these? <laughs> Question of the day. Where am I, where am I putting my flowers? Here we go. Oh, hi, buddy. This may seem a little weird, but can I ask you a question? Be brutal. What are you thinking of me? Super nice, super scary. Maybe the only one who truly gets me fancies you. I'm all about the kindness, a deep thinker who's all heart. Yep, a real man of the people. That's me. I love Gaston so much. <laughs> the leaf will be moved to throw back Thursdays. I mean, that's gonna be really cool, though. I'm not gonna lie, it'll be neat. It won't be for a very long time. By very long time, I mean potentially years. <laughs> but uh, it will be cool to see it kind of come full circle almost. Can't believe they really did a 24 hour stream just to show off one Pokemon. I mean, you know what? Okay. My statement about that. <laughs> Um, maybe I'm not in the majority when I say this, but in regards to that big Pokemon stream that they did for 24 hours with the, uh, Galarian Forest, I forget what it was called, I think that was probably one of the coolest things I've seen them do to advertise their games. Um, just the idea that, like, you know, you were getting this, this look, or this, this brief glimpse into, and I use quotation marks, a real place in Galar. Um, and you have the chance to see Pokemon. And like, I, I understand that like, you know, maybe they could have made it not <laughs> 24 hours because that's a long time to wait um, for people who were sitting there from start to finish, but I don't think they intended people to sit there from start to finish. I think what they wanted to do is to have people in different time zones and people with different work schedules or life schedules be able to tune in and potentially see something cool. And like, yeah, they did show up the thing at the end, but like, I don't know, it was just really cool. It was a really cool experience. I am 100% for it. <laughs> I know some people aren't happy with it, but it's kind of magical. I don't know, I don't. you don't see people or companies really doing that, so I liked it. <laughs> Poor Cerebi guy sat there through all 24 hours. Yeah, I saw people on Twitch sitting there doing like 24 hour streams. And I'm like, I don't think that's really the intended point, but of course if you're a Pokemon streamer and that is your bread and butter, you're probably gonna do that. <laughs> 
Do I have Wild World? I do. I have it on uh, DS and I also have it on the Wii U eShop. Or virtual cons or whatever you want to call it. But no, I'm I'm hyped. I'm hyped for Sword and Shield. Oh, let me see. I thought it was cool, but I thought they would have something a bit bigger, like maybe the starter evolutions or something. I didn't think they would just because it's in the middle of a random forest. I don't think they're actually going to show us the evolutions. At all. That's my personal opinion. I don't think they're actually going to show it. I think they're going to let us go in and uh, evolve them ourselves. <laughs> and I think that's neat because I think they showed us far too much for Sword and for, uh, sorry, Sun and Moon. So it'll be nice to uh, go in with, with fresh eyes and just choose a starter based on their typing or what they look like and not be like, okay, they're going to become this. That's why I'm getting them now. But the thing is about that Ponyta thing, we don't even know if that is a Ponyta, we're assuming it's Galarian Ponyta. But it might not be, it might just be a horse. <laughs> Which is darn cute, but I think they learned from Sun and Moon for sure. For sure. Yeah, like Pepper, like, I think it's just, it's just a really cool, really neat thing that they did. <laughs> You're picking Sobble then? Yeah, I'm picking Grookey. Like, just first instinct told me Grookey, so I'm going with it. No matter what it becomes. No worries, Brie. We're just discussing the Pokemon stuff that's been going on recently. Did I miss a dig spot? Let me know where it is. Um, this is this is very very personal <laughs> and very off base. Like it's it's very uh, I know not everyone would have experienced this, but watching that stream yesterday, um, I woke up Mike because I thought it was like not going to be twenty four hours, um just to watch it with me and we kind of sat there in bed having it on the big screen in front of us and just chatting while we were eyeing the screen um it reminds me somewhat of um i think the comp i think it was norad norad used to do a tracking santa thing at christmas like just around the 24th 25th and essentially what it is is you would go online and you could track Santa going from the North Pole to all these places all over the world and you'd see him traveling through all these locations and my mom used to bring that up and we'd watch that together Christmas Eve and it kind of brought back that feeling for me where like you know you're watching and you're waiting for something to happen and like I don't know why that triggered it <laughs> I don't know if they still do that do they do they still do it Pepper gosh I want to show that to my kids one day if they're still doing it because that's just such a huge childhood memory for me <laughs> um and I think that's why I kind of really like the, the the live stream they did because it kind of just whoop, <laughs> reminded me of that. <laughs> You're gonna cry now, oh, memories. <laughs> and like you know, of course, I don't believe in Santa, <laughs> but I love the idea that they they do this every year and like they update it with new information and stuff like that. So like my mom will still bring it up every Christmas Eve and we'll just sit there and we'll watch it for a minute. Uh, Mrs. I'm not gonna pronounce your name right, Ali- Alieska? I'm not saying that right. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. <laughs> we're watching and we're waiting at the edge of our seats anticipating. <laughs> it's good. How about yours? Doesn't believe in Santa. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, can't wait for Sword and Shield. Would love if you did your battles. See, I'm not very much into battles, Sir Esno, but if you guys really want me to, I would try. I'm not competitive in the slightest. <laughs> but thank you so very much for that three month resub. That means the world to me. Ah, uh, sorry, give me a second. I'm missing something. Oh, Pepper, that's so mean. See that? I don't agree with. Like, just because I don't doesn't mean she shouldn't, you know? Didn't watch the stream, but I just looked at the new Pokemon. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> Santa is like wrestling completely real and covered. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> what did I just nearly read? Uh, this might be controversial, but I don't really like any regional variants for varying reasons. You won't get into. That's fair. I was talking about the regional variants with Mike this morning, and I was kind of saying how I think it's neat because, you know, you'll have. I don't- I can't name an example off the top of my head, but say for example in North America you'll have a type of deer, and then in Japan you'll have a type of deer maybe, and they might be both deer, but they might have 
differences because of where they are. Maybe Japan isn't the best example, but thinking about it, it makes sense to have variants because of the different climates and environments and stuff that they're they're living in. So I'm 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 okay with it. <laughs> I wasn't at first, but then I thought about it. Didn't have time to do all the IVs and breeding to really play competitive when it comes to battling. I I've just never been into the competitive scene. I just enjoy playing the stories. Long time YouTube watcher, just getting into Nintendo's Twitch community. I love binge watching your videos. Well, welcome on in. There's a very large Nintendo streaming community on here, so I'm sure you'll find plenty of other streamers as well who you really enjoy. Also, I really want everyone to call me Fancy C, but I want to know what his nickname is. Uh, I kind of don't like it, but I don't want to be mean. <laughs> I'm more of a catch them all, but mostly the ones I like and think are cute. Yes, <laughs> me and you, same thing. Uh, it's like how Dachshund works IRL, yes. Remember you have a date with Bob? I do, thank you, thank you. Christmas night and I heard footsteps on my roof, not kidding when I say that it kind of creeped you out. Oh, I'm gonna say, oh, I feel bad. I'm sorry, I don't really like it. I know you'd be picky about it. Uh, so how about you give yourself an, oh. Everyone else has been calling me Fancy C and I like that. Yes. <laughs> Not a huge fan of- or not a fan of rage- oh no, yes, we're very chill here on the whole. Uh, okay, so we do have a date with Bob in five minutes, so I'll be back in a second. You're super into it? Yeah. No, I'm- I'm probably not gonna do too much battling. I'm up for trades and- and those raid things and stuff like that, but... Like fantasy, but fancy? Yes. <laughs> Is today the last day in memory? No. Fortnite fan. Uh, we are doing this until March. Uh, Santa wasn't really determined to make Emily believe in him for as long as possible. Yeah, that's me. Also, Jack is still wandering around. <laughs> um, I, I don't like the idea of taking that away from kids. Meet at Bob's house or yours? Bob's. He's already in his house, so that's how I can easily tell. Worried about the raid battles? I don't- I don't really know what to expect with those. I'm kind of excited but kind of nervous that I'm not going to be good enough. Could be doing a long stream March 20th? Yes, yes. Last day. No, la lazy day. Lazy day. But how are you doing, Fortnite fan? Welcome on in. Oh, Rosie. Oh boy. Um, okay, so there's still some spaces back here that I need to fill in really badly. Uh, not the biggest fan of competitive battling either. I'd rather use Pokemon I like that are terrible stat-wise. Yeah, pretty much same here. <laughs> Uh, I want to say C. Jones, maybe? Thank you so much for the follow, welcome on in. Don't know if I'm saying it right, I hope I am. If I'm not, let me know. What do you think of Pocket Camp? Um, I think it's a really cute game. have nothing against it personally, but I can't get into it for very long periods. I usually pick it up for like maybe a week, if that, and then I just end up putting it back down. Moogle Princess, thank you! Oh, let me see. Kindergarten teacher said, okay, we're writing letters to Santa today, and I, Don's child, was screamed, but Santa isn't real. Oh, boy. That's awful. <laughs> I mean, I know you, you, you were young, you didn't really know what you were doing, but that still kind of sucks for the others. Oh, wait, I should be putting the white ones here. 
I've never seen a Pokemon like the Tourney's. Or me, everyone pretty much uses the same three to five Pokemon on their team with the odd difference. Yeah, I just, I never really could get into it. And I think it's cool that we all have different ways that we can enjoy the same game. Just like how we all enjoy different things about Animal Crossing. Uh, we can all enjoy different things about Pokemon. Start heading over to Bob's too. Yes, in a minute. <laughs> Uh, is it... I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. I want to say Matilda, but I'm not too sure. Welcome on in. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. How about you? Uh, okay, there we go. We all unique snowflakes. <laughs> Boy in your class said Santa wasn't real and I was so sad. I don't think that ever really happened to me as a kid. Uh, yeah, maybe in a certain situation, but it's a little bit different. Oh, wait, this is my house. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm Canadian. <laughs> See, look, we're still early. See, now we're on time. No, Pepper, I'm sick. There's a difference. <laughs> Honorary Brit. You made it to my place. I'm just gonna stare at each other again and have a moment. Look at my home. I hope you like it as much as I do. Um, I'm gonna use this time have a story time uh, on the topic of Santa and believing. <laughs> I remember very distinctly, I don't remember what grade I was in, but I do remember I was in a newer school. It was the first time I'd ever moved. And there was this girl, I think she may have been in the year above me. Um, and for whatever reason, she was very pushy. She was very, you know, in your face, kind of my way or the highway, I want to say, kind of person. And I remember her, anytime she heard anything about Santa, she would like go right up in your face and be like, you don't believe in that, do you? Like only babies believe in that, right? Oh God. <laughs> and she like created this little group, this little group of people who followed her for like maybe a week saying that they didn't believe in Santa. It was- she was- she was a piece of work now that I think back on it, and I really hope she grew out of it. Just- I wouldn't want to meet her if she didn't change. I wouldn't really want to meet her as an adult, let's put it that way. She wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't really get along with her. <laughs> How to make Bob your neighbor? Same- same method I was talking about earlier, past plot resetting. My place is pretty cool, huh? You can take a little slice of uh, coolness home if you like. I might actually take that brown shirt from him. I don't want him to have that. <laughs> yeah, give me that. I get it, you want no one to have fun. Exactly, exactly. Thinking back on it now, I remember just how bad that was. And it's funny, cause I don't, I think I only remember her being there for a short amount of time. Like I don't, that or she kind of quieted down for whatever reason. Something must have happened. Hey Kim, how are you doing today? Can I see your museum after this? Sure, we were in the museum earlier, but I don't mind going through another walkthrough. Don't worry, I might be messy, but my house is a cockroach-free zone. Alright, Bob, I'm gonna head out, buddy. Uh, I love your house. One of the people who bullied me daily in school is moaning about their kids now being bullied every day and how shocky it is and stuff. I messaged her and said, finally, you know how it feels then. She wasn't sorry. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I, I believe in karma. 
We must praise Beetle again. <laughs> so, I'm missing two fossils. So that's great. Um, no clue where they are. Oh, actually. Uh, where is I putting my red roses again? Oh, right. But it's essential to my decor and I'm like, it's a bug. <laughs> Can I do my nails? So it's a great time to tune to strings since I can't do much else. Ooh, what color are you doing them? I wish I could do my nails a bit more. Um, I usually do one hand really good, the other hand horrible, and I usually end up chipping them and then I just can't handle the different colors and it bothers me. Or different, um... I don't know what the word would be. <laughs> if one is not proper, I, I can't handle it. No worries, Latisa. Enjoy your rest. Sleep well. I just want to put this, uh, this flower over here. I recently apologized to the kids that it's horrible to. Life advice for today is recognizing when you're in the wrong, attempting to make it better, for sure. For sure, very important. Oh, hi, buddy. Hey there. I'm looking to offload my elder mask. That sounds horrifying. Uh, sure, why not? I got my nails done today for the trip, got home, and then like a few minutes later smudged one. Luckily it's dark polished and so not too noticeable. See, even just like the feeling of it would... I don't know, I'm very, very picky. <laughs> Wish I could have really long nails, but it makes gaming really hard. Um, I'm pretty lucky with my natural nails that they kind of just... Um, grow really well. I don't break them very often. So I usually have longer nails. Um, and then stress gets to me and they're, they're suddenly gone. Hey kid, want something definitely cursed? Oh my god. Well, the chance is hello. How are you doing? Ah, uh, dagger, unless you have amiibo card of Kurt. Probably not. If you have an amiibo card, you can scan him in. Cube, that's a horrifying sentence for a creepy mask. Give me a second, guys. I need a cough. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. My, uh, my throat and my voice is starting to go on me a little bit. I've never tried the uh, the gel stuff, Kim. I've heard I've heard a lot about it. Um, never bothered to try it though. Um, Allie, probably. I mean, I don't. I'm I'm probably not the best person to ask for advice for that. But what I usually do is I try and plant flowers that I'm trying to breed together, um, diagonally from each other rather than horizontally or vertically. Um, kind of like in a checkerboard pattern. And then, you know, watering daily <laughs> is pretty much the best you can do. Getting the better watering cans, I think, helps. Crazy Gamer, hello there. How are you doing today? Hey, you feeling long nails? Do you think that it's pretty? I want long nails, but you just can't. That's fair. I get it. Polish makes my nails feel suffocated? Yeah. No, I understand that for sure. You do gel? It's really good. It doesn't chip as easily. Lasts me about a month. I should probably look into that. Okay, so, as per request, checking out the museum. We are missing... <laughs> Eric, hi. We're missing four... Paintings, four statues from the museum. So that is actually the four of them, I think, right there for these statues. Oh no, I'm missing an extra one. That's not good. I gotta figure out what I'm missing. Uh, and we're missing, I, I believe, <laughs> if I'm counting correctly, four paintings. Oh, wait. No, I'm counting correctly. 
Yeah, because that one over there was two. It's it's two squares, but it's probably one, one statue. Yeah, it's just one. Okay, no, I counted correctly. We're fine. <laughs> Um, fossil exhibit we finished a very long time ago. I think maybe two or three months into the playthrough, I feel like. Um, and it's it's been done for a long time. <laughs> Dull's a good long-lasting option, yeah, for sure. I tend to just do really simple just coloring, so. Curious to see how Bladders is included in New Horizons. I still personally believe that we are going to be building the amenities, I guess, of town. So we're going to be building the town hall, we're going to be building the museum, and then Blathers will come when you build the museum for him to work in. That's what I believe, at least. Oh, gel can actually damage your nails. We decided to wake- oh yeah, I've, this is what I- I've been sick so I haven't been fully on the ball, but we are going to be playing Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories on Monday. Um, I'm having Mike help me set up the Elgato or my capture card with the PS4 uh, after stream actually. And I already have the backgrounds and everything done for it. <laughs> um, and I'm looking forward to it because you guys know me. I love Kingdom Hearts very much. Uh, it's not my favorite Kingdom Hearts game, but trying to get away from this mosquito and still watch the bug the bug fighting <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have to hold it under UV light for it to cure UV that close to your skin cannot be healthy hmm Do you think we'll get any villagers for New Horizons? If so, which species do you think will be added? I've heard a rumor that we're actually not getting any new types of villagers, which is disappointing if it's true. I don't know where that came from. I don't know if it's confirmed. Um, I'd love to see fruit bat villagers um, and then more of the NPCs. So like owls, foxes, raccoons or tanukis or whatever you want to call them, um, skunks, like the villagers that we technically already have when it comes to the shopkeepers. Oh, there's Midge. That thing behind her looks absolutely evil. <laughs> uh, what a nice surprise running into you here. You don't suppose they let me practice fishing here, do you? If I use a toy worm and a fake hook? That's actually a really cute idea. <laughs> hey, Andohu, you guys want sharks? See, I'm not against it, and I know that I'm a hypocrite when I say that, like, you know, having fish villagers or aquatic villagers is weird because we already have octopus villagers. Um, but it's so weird because we catch octopuses, or octopi? Octopi. Um, and like, I still think the hamster cage is weird. Like, there's a lot of weird stuff. And it doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> um, so I, it would be interesting to have them, but it would also make catching sharks really awkward. Watch a video today and the guy said we might get to see all the old- old villagers that are- oh, that were cut coming back. I'm not sure if we will or not, but it'd be interesting. We catch frogs. I know, I know. There's a lot of, like, when you think about it, it's weird. And I wouldn't- I'd either want them to get rid of being able to catch them, or just not have those villagers, personally. Okay, so I'm gonna be selling most of that. Ah, uh, Drea, I don't think I have. I don't think I have. I know of the channel, but... Makes them more special. No, I get that. I get that. And that's why I'm a little bit on the fence about it. But new villagers in general, just different kinds of species would be nice. 
Pokemon tie-ins? Yeah, I wouldn't... I... <laughs> I want, a, I want a Pikachu villager and an Eevee villager. I'd be happy with just those two, honestly. Well, we're putting yellow roses down here. Oh, whoops. Do you still need to unlock the PlayStation? Nope, we got it already. That's a nice path, Elena, thank you. How are you doing today? <laughs> Fuck villagers are an absolute no. Yeah, it it would freak a lot of people out, I feel like. Picardus, hello, how are you doing today? Welcome on in. Don't like the idea of having limited edition characters, because then they would just get cut. I agreed we need more Pokemon things in Animal Crossing. I I don't know, I wanna I kinda wanna see them bring forward villagers who were cut before they add in new ones, if you know what I mean. Focus on the old ones, then start working on new ones. I'm sorry you're not doing too good. Chinchilla villagers, that'd be pretty cool. I personally would love guinea pig, but I think they'd be a little bit too close to hamster. But no, my hands down villager that I really want species-wise is a fruit bat. Because they are essentially chihuahuas with wings and they are adorable. And they just eat fruit and they chill. <laughs> they eat insects too. They eat insects, that's also good. <laughs> But if you, just, oh, I've said this time and time again, but if you have not been here for me saying this before, if you have not had the chance to go on YouTube and look up fruit bat eating grapes or a banana, please do. I guarantee it will make your day. It's very cute. Is that Sherry's house? No, no, we don't got, we don't have Sherry anymore. Thankfully, <laughs> just thinking about that. Um, see, so yeah, I have all these flowers here, and I'm just like, I don't really, I have like an, an excess of red flowers that I don't know what I want to do with. I do. She just won't leave my town. Is Twitch being twitchy for you? I'm sorry about that. Oh, whoops, that's not where I'm going. Did you put that one down? What did you put down? Totally wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Continue the older Animal Crossing games on Thursday when New Horizons comes out. So at the moment, my plan is probably Throwback Thursdays is going to be at least put on hold when New Horizons first comes out. And we will be focusing on New Horizons for a little while, and then, you know, eventually we will phase Throwback Thursdays back in. Um, but that is kind of just my thought process at the moment. I don't actually know for sure yet. Um, I do know the schedule is going to change a lot <laughs> when New Horizons comes out. We're going to be changing things up a lot. Whose house is the one with the yellow door? Uh, yellow? I don't know anyone. Uh, that's not Gaston. Give me a second. Not yellow. Mitch. Mitch. <laughs> She's a really cute pink bird. There you go. Random has an emote for her. I really want to work more on my hybrids, but I've had such bad- like, I feel like I've had such bad luck with hybrids in this town. And it's purely because of the blue rose. <laughs> purely. I'm like, putting off getting everything else because I want the blue rose.
There we go. Okay. And then these, I have no clue what we're doing with these. We're gonna find a different place for them. Wish her a new Chi-Chi was indeed. Uh, we have Phoebe now, who's another Ichi. Sounds good, Queen of Size. Have a good one. So, a lot of people were saying for Around the Cafe, do orange and black. And to me, that's like pure Halloween colors. And I don't really know if I want that, but it works at the moment. So I might try it out. I don't know how I feel about it. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Did you not like her? No. No. Um, she... She's a really strange villager, <laughs> first off. Uh, she threatened to paint my town fruit black. It was like, it was one of the stranger dialogues I've seen from a villager, actually. And right off the bat, did not earn a good first impression with us, I guess. She was kind of the villager that we, we enjoyed, you know, teasing a little bit in this town. Very Halloween-y. <laughs> um, okay, so that's good. See, now I have orange. What am I doing with orange? Oh, hello. I really need a catchphrase. Please tell me one right away. Can we get a catchphrase for Blueberry, you guys? It's currently blue <laughs> from the Blueberry video. Orange and white or black and white colors if you're not keen on the orange and black combo. I might switch it to black and white later on, maybe. Muffin. <laughs> That's actually cute. Chips raspberry. <laughs> I'm kinda I wanna go with muffin because that's really darn cute. Uh it doesn't need to be caps. Also low-key win points because I had a dog growing up whose name was Muffin. He was small and snappy and angry, but he was cute, so it's fine. Uh, <laughs> Jack, are you still just like chilling with that tree? It's a different tree, but he's like, I love this tree. This tree is my jam. And honestly, I feel that. <laughs> uh, oh god, see, what, what, what's going on over here? Why are these all here? Um... Okay, so that there. And that I'm gonna pick up. This looks a little bit better. Um I could do like a creamsicle pattern or something somewhere, maybe, with the orange and white. Do I already have orange and white somewhere? I feel like I do around someone's house. One villager who's such a jerk in my game, but I love his house. Who's that? Hey, Rantzel, it's going pretty good. How about you? Welcome on in. Uh, around the lighthouse? Oh, that is where I was doing it. Croak? Oh, I, I know the villager you're talking about. Now you want a creamsicle? Creamsicles are always really good. What's your favorite type of ice cream or popsicle, you guys? Actually, both. If you had to choose a popsicle, if you had to choose an ice cream, what are your favorites? Oh no, I was doing tulips around here. Interesting. Ooh, I could... I could do a transition. I can't think I'm too full at the moment, that's fair. So we could do a transition from... Tulips to roses and... Lilies, maybe? <laughs> I don't know if that'll work, but it, it's a little bit less jarring. Chocolate pudding or dairy-free cold 
Kangaroo popsicles are so good. That sounds very different. I haven't heard of that uh, actually before. There's a lot of yellow here. Love Ben and Jerry's half baked ice cream, but I don't typically like popsicles. <laughs> Red, yes. <laughs> Banana popsicles. Oh, yes. Yes, Rosie. <laughs> Strawberry fruit popsicle. Those are always good. Um, Dairy Queen blizzards are so good. I just, I've been just craving like just straight vanilla soft serve ice cream recently. And I did get some from McDonald's the other day with Mike when the ice cream machine was actually working. So that was pretty nice. I also like Dairy Queen Sundays. They're just like the strawberry sundae in particular, my favorite. Lactose. Oh, lactose intolerant. So no ice cream, but my favorite. Lolly's Helter Skelter. I, for some reason that rings a bell, but I don't think I've ever had it. Oh, strawberry bars. Ooh, and I love. <laughs> whose emote is that? Oh my god, that emote is beautiful and. Oh. You guys don't know the story behind my peach emote. <laughs> We really, really wanted a nice peach emote that looked somewhat butt-like, because if you look at peaches in this game, they honestly do look like bums. And, and I was told no by Twitch. <laughs> oh, whoops. What's the webcam today? I'm, uh, I'm not feeling well. I'm not feeling well. Uh, I believe I'm either coming down with a cold or allergies are just hitting me very hard, but I'm pretty sure at this point it's a cold. So I didn't feel I'd be on camera. Thank you. Yeah. No, it I feel I felt like this for like a week going on, but um I think it was just kind of waiting to pounce on me. <laughs> Super sweet frozen yogurt. Yeah. Um oh, what's the one that I like? Um I'm I'm a big fan of uh of like a rainbow sherbet if I go to like Baskin Robbins or an ice cream parlor like that. Been around for a month, yeah. I had I know someone else in chat is also they've had a cold for a very long time and that's never really much fun. Oh, hi buddy. You're looking good? Oh, for the love of- Said it again, so I never noticed until Mitch mentioned it a while back, but apparently I say simply lurk. Uh, no, I love that. Keep it. <laughs> yes, he has emote. <laughs> He's such a cutie. We haven't even gone shopping yet. What am I doing with my life, you guys? Okay. I'm really upset that Kevin hasn't tried to ping us yet, though. I'm a little bit concerned. And Jack, we need to talk to you later. My goodness. One dude in my dorm has bronchitis and he took his chemistry test while sick. That sucks. <laughs> I feel sorry for him. I feel sorry if he passes anything on to anyone else for sure. Welcome, welcome, come on in. Do you have fertilizer? Yes, you do. Thank you. Um, and then you're also selling candy, so I think I need to buy that for Halloween, if I remember. I don't actually even remember the Halloween event, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, and we're gonna do it three times. If you guys are new here, um, we generally play Animal Crossing, uh, at the moment, Saturday and Sunday, and also Throwback Thursdays with the older Animal Crossing games. 
And our plan this year for Halloween is actually on Halloween on the 31st. We're going to be playing through Luigi's Mansion 3. But the day before, on the 30th, uh, we're going to be playing through the Halloween event in New Leaf, <laughs> the Halloween event in Animal Crossing City Folk, and the Halloween event, I think if there is one, I believe there is, in uh, Animal Crossing GameCube. So I forget what they all are or what to do in them. <laughs> so this should be interesting. <laughs> Uh, do I need either of these? Neapolitan. Uh, I actually did need that. Oh, the spoops. What about Wild World? We are currently playing through Wild World, and there is reason to my madness with that. Um, I don't mean to offend anyone when I say this, but in my opinion, <laughs> personal opinion, Wild World is essentially a... I don't want to say worse. Slightly watered down version of City Folk. It's almost the exact same game, same music. Um, it's just one was on a handheld, one was on a console, and one adds in a bunch of stuff with the city. So I'm playing through City Folk, essentially playing through both, in my opinion. I may play through Wild World in the future, but um, it hasn't aged well. <laughs> it's the other thing. It doesn't really look good when you blow it up and try and put it on a screen like this, so. Um, potentially. Oh, whoops. No. Potentially in the future, but maybe not. Uh, and also, give me a second here. Sorry, I'm changing my spreadsheet around so that I know what I'm buying. And then, what is this? The K-Funk. Do we already got that? Um, and by the way, if anyone is new here as well, um... If you would like to type in exclamation mark uh, museum into chat, it'll bring up a, uh, a link that I have a spreadsheet on, which essentially I have everything written down that I want to collect before I am, and I use quotation marks here, done with New Leaf. So that's what I'm checking when I say, do I need this music? Because I'm trying to collect all of them. Uh, and I don't think I need that one. I think I already got it. And those look terrible on bigger screens? Yeah, it's unfortunate um, that, you know, because our videos are so high quality now, playing older games just look... they don't look that great. <laughs> um... ooh! I didn't know that... wait... Okay. <laughs> Doesn't Jack give you this stuff? If you do stuff for him? Or am I misremembering? Weird. Deck is creepy, this is spooky. Oh, okay. Cool. And this is all still the sweets furniture. Cool. I love the hot dog shirt. <laughs> Look who's back in the shop, yep. <laughs> Sherry likes to hang out on that floor in particular. We usually see her there very frequently. Okay, so let's go check out clothing. Because I think they're going to start selling the Halloween costumes as well. So I should probably start focusing. Uh, Planet Tracer. Zach? Oh, come on in, how's it going? Look how Bob's just like staring into your souls right now. Just appreciate his look, you guys. <laughs> Do I have Penelope? I don't. I don't. Okay, he's finished looking at you guys. We may move. Oh wow, they're not selling any of it. This is different. What is this? I don't think I've seen that before. Uh, also, Plant Tracer, thank you so very much for that follow. Can you play Friends when you first get your town? Yeah, I think you can. Weird. <laughs> Bobbert sees all. Um, oh, hello. 
a pretty good choice. This is a unit item. Oh yeah, and then so if I'm remembering correctly, um all the Halloween stuff will sell for a certain price, so this price, I think, just to show that this is a Halloween costume item. Oh, Bexley, that is amazing. Do you know are you like are you getting it from a shelter or like What's going on? That's really cool. And a way to look like random pepper. Oh my god. Also, Picardus, thank you so much for the offer, but I'm good. I'm good. I'll uh, I'm I'll be getting it next month anyway. I was gonna ask why, ten thirty. Oh, like a thousand thirty-one. Yeah, that's uh, it's a weird number, but that's how you remember. Like, oh, this is for a Halloween thing. Uh, I don't think there are any shoes or anything like that to the costumes, right? Katharina, have a uh, good day. We'll see you later. Best of luck with your studies. Birdies. Oh, these are just colorful socks. Okay. No, I know, Straw Cherry, I know. But, like, when you just see it without uh, thinking about it, it's a weird number. But then when you realize what that means... I know exactly what it means. <laughs> um, Alright, so we got music, we got candy, we got fertilizer. Good shopping trip. No, no, structure. Okay, let's go find Jack. That wasn't hard. Oh, oh, oh. Check your tree. I'm the mighty czar of Halloween, Jack. Wait, what's with that look on your face? Are you perhaps wondering if today is Halloween? Fear not. My glorious and spooky night is not quite here yet. I came here today to look for royal subjects who are willing to work for me all Halloween night. Hmm. You, you seem pretty sharp, unless my pumpkin eyes are playing tricks on me. Uh, little hope, thank you so much for the host. Planning on buying from a shelter or just someone selling? So desperate now to get a kitten, I just want to get one as fast as possible. I've been wanting a kitten since I was a child. Definitely, uh, if you go to a shelter or you have an option between kittens, definitely take your time. Uh, walk around, see if, you know, maybe one of them will choose you, because that's honestly the best feeling is when, you know, you have a whole bunch of puppies or kittens or whatever around and, you know, one comes up to you. That's honestly the best feeling. <laughs> and it, it's really great. Oh, so sure. I think it's because he's a he's a louder character. So I'll turn it down just a little bit there. And remember, always spade and neuter your pets. <laughs> Didn't know it was you. I love your YouTube channel. Oh, Plant Tracer, thank you. Thank you. When Halloween comes around on October 31st, would you like to be one of Jack's loyal subjects? Sure. It didn't take me long at all to find a search. Let's get started with what you're supposed to do on the day of the festival. On Halloween, you're supposed to scare everyone in town. Scare them good and spooky. Their job is to find a costume to people. Good job. <laughs> and of course, when I talk about costumes, yes, I certainly mean some sort of mask. To celebrate your joining my ranks as a servant, I'll give you one such item right now. Please don't give me the one I just bought. Monster mask. <laughs> Please collect as many of these scary items as you can, uh, so that you may spook people the right way. You can buy them at the Evil Sisters shop as well. The price is fixed at 10 or 1031, so that should be your hint. I do so love October 31st or 1031. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you something vitally important. I really love candy. During Halloween, everyone will ask me for candy as well, so make sure you have enough to go around. Oh, was that clear enough in explaining your role? I got it. I got it. Since Jax has a pumpkin, do you think the pumpkin pie item you can get weirds them out? Ew, <laughs> now that you think about it, yeah. Uh, Pikachu lover Hannah, hello! Gonna play Pokemon X or Y soon. If you are, I'd definitely be here for it. Yes. Um, so we're currently we started Pokemon White uh two weeks ago, and we're working our way through that. We're gonna finish uh Pokemon White, Pokemon White 2, and then we're starting X after that. So in in the 
somewhat distant future, but it's on the horizon now for sure. The new horizon? New horizons. <laughs> Uh, I'm glad to have such a smart and eager yeah. servant. Yeah. Right, yeah. let's collect some spooky masks and candy by Halloween. Yeah. Halloween yeah. festival yeah. starts around 6 p.m. on October 31st. Yeah. Good luck with your preparation, pumpkin. There he goes. Yeah. I'm counting on you. Hey, Connors, what, what do you need? Okay, so. Uh, remind me, you guys. He just mentioned the masks. Do we have to collect the full outfit? Or is it literally just the masks that we need? Uh, so we actually have a full like costume going on over here that we're gonna wear. Do I think there are full outfits? I mean, there is at least for the mummy, I know. I think only the masks scare the builders. Gosh, this room is messy. Uh, maybe downstairs. Villagers will give you special dialogue for the full outfit. Okay. Katie, the, uh, we were talking about the, the Halloween outfits. So I'm gonna start just, like, placing them down here. Just so that we know which ones we've already purchased. Um, and I forget how to figure out which villagers are scared of what, but we can figure that out on the day of. I'm not too fussed. <laughs> Pikachu lover hand, thank you. It, it's actually an emote that we have. It's designed after my cat tiger. <laughs> um, who is? He is my fur baby. Is that Teddy? Carlos and Drake? I believe? Was it by personality? I'm not sure. Ask Cat, hello. I think villagers give hints as to which villagers are scared of which mask. Okay. I don't remember if they actually like, if that's like, they say it on the day of, if they say it beforehand, during the month. I feel like I had a lot of candy stored up somewhere. I may have sold it all. I think I had a lot from Festival, maybe? Oh wait, there's a couple pieces. <laughs> oh, whoops. I probably don't have it anymore, but I know I had a lot at one point. Favorite song from KK? Uh, this one, KK Cruisin', at the moment. I change frequently. Hey, dear Callie, how are you doing today? Welcome on in. Did I store it in here, maybe? I feel like I would have preemptively stored it, but I might not have. Oh, no, found it. <laughs> found the candy. Oh, and these items. These were for getting the fly and stuff like that. That's kind of cool to see those still in there. Uh, Picard, if you want to link anything, you gotta message one of the mods with it and they will uh, send it in chat for you. Or else the bot will uh, will time it out. Just had some Pop-Tarts. I hope you enjoyed. Which, which kind? All the candy. So we don't need to buy candy. I think we're pretty good. I think two drawers full, full is uh, plenty. Diving trick again, I tried getting in the water without the white wetsuit and I was like, why isn't this working? <laughs> oh, I've had I've had moments like that, trust me. You're all good. Brown sugar cinnamon. Ooh. See, I'm not really a big fan of Pop Tarts, but if I was, those would probably be the ones I'd like kinda gravitate towards. She had that much candy? Yeah, so do I. <laughs> Alright, so there is that watered. We will get that blue rose eventually, guys. We just gotta believe. <laughs> and I, I heard that in Parappa the Rapper's voice in my head. Oh, whoopsie. Oh, I'm missing a red rose. 
Oh, now Mike has it stuck in his head. Uh, JC? Drew? Am I saying your name right? Thank you so much for the, uh, for the follow. Welcome on in. Cat, I appreciate your uh, your bluntness in that. Not not a lot of people can do that, so that that's really good. You hold your own. I my train of thought of things ended. There's probably a good reason for it, <laughs> but that's just me. All right, Pikachu lover, kind of. We'll see you later. Have a fantastic one. Oh, can one of the mods help out Lily Gaming? With the, uh, with the link, please and thank you, if you guys are able to. Okay, so I need to kind of look through my flowers down here and see kind of what I'm working on. Thank you, Pepper. Um, do... do, do, do. There we go. Um, okay, so we needed to get pink carnations, which I think we have a couple already. Dear Callie, yeah, I, I saw that for sure. It looks great. It honestly does. So we already got pink carnations, which is great. We needed to get those. So I'm actually going to cross those off my list here real quick. Uh... What else did I need to get? Cosmos, we needed to get orange, which we also have, uh, and black, which we don't have. So black is orange and orange. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring these two over here. A balloon, though. We every every single episode, every single stream, we have to have like at least one balloon. Usually when I start going live, but not every time. So pretty with this lucky tail. It's just man. <laughs> everything I see about Sword and Shield gets me excited. Absolutely everything. Black ones are pretty hard to get. Yeah, I had a feeling. Um, so there's that. So I can actually move these as well. I don't need those there anymore. Oh, Halloween guide. Thank you, pick artist. Thank you. I'll have to check that out. Um. As well as for population growing in city folk later on. Because uh, I don't want to be like, I have no clue what I'm doing. And obviously we're going to be time traveling that day because I usually stream earlier rather than later. A little over a month left. It's a little bit crazy. It feels like it's not that close, but I know it must be by now. Okay, so let me cross off orange from my list. Uh, and then pansies. There's purple, but that one is hard to get, from what I know. And then there's blue, which we don't have yet, which is white and white. Hey, Foxfire, I'm doing pretty good. How about you? Um... So, pansies are these ones over here. So we want to focus on white and white first, I think, right now. You have to be an uncle tomorrow. That's, that's crazy. That's insane. Um, so we're working on that. And then tulips, we just need black. Which is red and red. So that's probably not going to happen for a little while. Oh, Luke, I'm sorry about that. Do you know what happened, or is it just, like, randomly hurting? Uh, oh, hi, Phineas. <laughs> so, Lily Gaming, uh, we're gonna be playing Memory until, uh, March 19th, 2019. Or, 2020, my apologies. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, you want a badge, do you? Let's see, what kind of badge best suits you? A bunny balloon badge. <laughs> <laughs> Seems you know they're all uh, all there is to know about the lives of bugs, a master of insects. Uh, it looks like you have eaten your friends as you walk around with that fine bug encyclopedia of yours. <laughs> Got the perfect badge for you. Yeah. <laughs> is that our first gold one? <laughs> Enjoy your lurk, Stretcher. Um, is that our first gold one, actually, though? It is, wow. That's crazy. I don't know which other ones I've gotten gold of before, but that's pretty cool. You have a full name for a character. Oh man, I wish I could, I'm, I'm the worst at coming up with names, let alone full names. I wish I could help out a bit more. Oh, whoops, I wanted to actually go get the tulips. <laughs> hey, Super Smile, how are you doing today? I'm really giving, thank you. You have fish gold, haven't you? Do I? No, I don't. Do I? Not yet. Not yet. Um, and we haven't really caught that many, apparently. <laughs> Need to work on that a little bit more, I think. Just use my own name. Might work. Might work if you're comfortable with that. Alright, so we're gonna put the two tulips here. And this is for black tulips. How come in City Folk I put yellows together and apparently I was getting black? Oh, whoops. And then violets, we need blue, which is just purple and white. So this is a mess. <laughs> Uh, let's do this. Um, Coffee Beans, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. How are you doing today? Whoopsie. Trying to get gold for the happy home points forever? Yeah. I, uh, I don't know if I ever have. All I know is that I think villager pictures are really, really the way to go. Because you get so many points off of those. Uh, is it box usage? I'm good, how are you? That's some funky font. Hi, rejected rocks. It says it gone. Uh oh, Drea, that's a little bit scary. Uh, alright, so we're just gonna put these ones over here. So eventually, I'm gonna have every single. It, minus the, the gold rose. We're gonna have every single hybrid, and I've pretty much... That flower is going straight through that cliff, but it's fine. Um, I've pretty much said I'm not gonna personally get the gold rose because it's too frustrating right now. <laughs> what I miss? Oh, we caught the very last bug in our encyclopedia today. That was kind of the cool thing we did today, I think. Honestly, it's just been a really chill kind of flower organizing stream today. Uh, and then these ones. I don't need these ones here anymore. I kind of want to use these around my town, but I said I wouldn't, so... <laughs> Feeling towards New Horizons. Everything I've seen so far looks amazing. I can't wait to uh, play it day one. <laughs> Gave you her picture twice for no discernible reason. Who? I know I've, I've had villagers in the past who have just continually gave me their pictures after a while. And it was a little bit weird. When does New Horizons get released? March 20th, 2020. Pretty easy to remember, actually. <laughs> which, is, which is good for me, honestly, because I have the worst memory. Ever played Toontown? No. No, I've heard about it before, but I've never, uh, I've never played that. Okay, so there's all the flowers that we're working on. The only one I didn't set up for is the purple pansy, because that one is 
kind of like getting the blue rose. It's uh, it requires like a hybrid colored flower, and those are always difficult to get. <laughs> um, then we have just like this pile of flowers over here. Well, things are looking a little bit cleaner, at least. This this area is probably gonna change, though. Oh, and then I already have black tulips. What am I doing? <laughs> Never mind. We already got them. You're not excited about your essence, you like AC it all too much. See, I want to say give it a little bit of time. You know, you might come around once you actually see a little bit more about it, but it's totally fine if, you know, new new leaf is your jam and you don't really want to change that. Thank you, Rejected Roxas. Ah, uh, that should not be there. Oh, and I have all those yellow ones up there that I, like, don't really want there. Nope. What is whispering doing here? Whispering on Twitch is essentially like uh, private messaging someone. Right for a change with the new game, it might be so. Oh, it's so refreshing. Yes. Now that's that's sort of, sort of the same boat for me. I love New Leaf very much, but uh, when you've been playing it for so long, it's it definitely does get a little bit tiring after a while. Oh no, that's so frustrating. Move these ones up. I still need to redo my town square. I think I'm gonna surround it with bushes instead of trees. Or maybe trees and um, these. <laughs> but uh, I definitely need to change it up a little bit. Hoping for more octopus villagers since there are only four. I'd like to see them kind of even out the numbers of all the different villager types, even if it means we. Gosh darn it, Bluebear. <laughs> Even if it means we see, uh, we see less, like, cat and dog villagers, because they're really popular, but we see more octopus or whatever villagers to even out the numbers. And by the way, these are purely going down here, because I don't know what else I want to do with them. And it's essentially to get them out of the way. <laughs> is there a mushroom any ridge or are you crazy? I no, you are not crazy. That is actually there. Um I planted it myself or planted. I put it down myself because I thought it would be really cool if there was like mushrooms growing out of the bridge, because it's wood. Um but I haven't gotten any mushrooms since I put that one down. <laughs> so I'm like waiting on more mushrooms. Oh, that's cool, Ejected Roxas. I, uh, I wish I had had drawing skills, but I really don't. Ah, <laughs> uh, yellow. Yellow tulips. What was I doing with these again? I think well, that's 100% fine. I hope you rest well. Or rested well, I guess. I think I've realized an issue with our little project over here. I I have too many uh, orange, uh, yellow, and red flowers in this town, and it's uh, it's getting a little bit much. <laughs> You want a new snooty villager who doesn't look the same. I'd like to see more Uchi villagers. Um, purely because I'm not really a big fan of most of the Uchi villagers that we have at the moment. Need some more purple. Oh, wait. I have a spot right there. 
Oh, yep. <laughs> the bot needs uh, the bot needs its thing back. Purple lilies would be so nice, yeah. Just like blue of every single flower as well. Like just give the flowers a little bit more evenness. <laughs> a little bit better at least. These ones. I'm really surprised I haven't really come up with the garden area in front of my house yet. I've still just kind of avoided working on it. <laughs> Welcome back, Padfoot. Beauty uh you? Blue tulips in particular would look nice. They would. They really would. <laughs> Random. Um, alright. Let me see what I have in the way of cedar saplings, because I want to use those for around... I don't have very many. Um, for around the uh, town tree. Okay, I don't have many. What do I have here? I might go with Polly's. I think I did that in one of my older towns, but I'm not too fussed. And I actually need my axe. <laughs> you sounded echoey there, like you were actually in the drawer. I think it's because I, I looked down at my touch screen, so like, I looked away from the microphone, essentially. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh, there we go. Sounded great. Well, that works perfectly then, doesn't it? Oh no, random. <laughs> uh, well, Blitz Gamer, welcome on in for the time being. How are you doing today? So, like. <sighs> Sorry, I'm trying to focus and figure out what I'm doing here. <laughs> I might need to cut down this tree and move it over one. Is the diamond trick for 8 or 10 minutes? Uh, I usually do it for about 6 or 7. Aw, Mochi! Thank you so much for that raid. How's it going? How was your stream? Hope you're having a good day. The boo says hi. <laughs> it's adorable. How are you doing today? Welcome on in, you guys. If you guys don't follow Lochi, you should be. You were last- Oh, were you playing City Folk? That's cool. That's awesome. I hope you guys had fun. Welcome on in, everyone. Come on in. Uh, if you guys don't follow Lochi, you should be. And if you guys are new here, my name is Crystal. We're currently playing some New Leaf. I'm working on, uh, kind of, uh, town, uh, town layout kind of stuff at the moment. Uh, Sandy Lou, who, hello, how's it going? Thank you so much for the follow. Okay, so... Alochi, it's pretty good. I feel like I'm kind of coming down with a bit of a cold, so my planning is a little bit, you know, everywhere at the moment. Not quite fully here, uh, but we're, we're doing pretty good. Pikmin lover, have a fantastic day at work. We'll see you later. Have a good one. Oh, are you watching that butterfly blue bear? You sweetheart, you. Ooh. I mean, I don't really need the fish right now, but it's 
very nice sized fish. So what I was thinking of doing, maybe, I'm gonna try and plot this out before I actually do something, is we get rid of this tree and replant it in this little corner here, right? Then we have another one on this side here. So it kind of makes this little entryway, right? And then right next door to it, we have two bushes. And then a space. And then two trees like this. And then two bushes in between. Kind of like trying to make a nice little pattern. But I don't know if it'll work. It won't work all the way around, of course. Lovely bear. She's a cutie. She really is. <laughs> The Lord cold is spreading. Yes, yes. Uh, I feel like uh, I kind of. I usually get hit around this time of year anyway, but. Hides behind a tree and pulls out axe. Okay, Crystal. <laughs> oh boy. Um, but then if I do that. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out spacing. So let's say I have three bushes in between then. Like that. And then space, and then... Oh, that would... that would not work. Wait, what have I done wrong? <laughs> Actually, how... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... Oh, actually, I don't even need to... have a space in there. Do you have flu shots in Canada? Yes. So it'll be a tree every two spaces, I think. <laughs> Reminds me of the Plaza plan for Rosewith. Yeah, I'm taking a little bit of inspiration from that, but also not because I don't really remember it too well. Oh, wow, those what are those durians. Those like flew. <laughs> uh oh. No 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 no. Oh no. Mm. Oh, I missed. Oh, pain and despair. <laughs> oh, Sandy, are you Canadian also? Well, come on in. Uh, now you all have to enjoy this face. <laughs> oh, well, it's okay. I should have expected that. Donut, we'll see you later. Enjoy the movie. Have fun. Yo, okay. Uh, so I'm just gonna pick up these and stack them. Although I probably need to put them down somewhere. Okay, let me go put these away real quick. Save and continue saved you from bees. I can save and continue when there's a bee on the ground? Really? Okay. I need to try that next time. That is brand new to me. Thank you so much for that tip. <laughs> Hi, Max. It's, he's good. How are you? Oh, whoops. Wrong door. It's okay, Pepper. <laughs> I had no clue, but then again, you know, I've been streaming this game for years. I've been playing it since, you know, maybe a month after release, and I still don't know everything about it. And that's one of the cool things about Animal Crossing. Okay, so. I put a tree here, and then another tree here. And then maybe two spaces in between? Whoops. Okay, actually, I should I should be marking out where the trees are going and not where the bushes are going because this is getting confusing. Ah, uh, well, Haley, welcome on in. How are you doing today? Thank you so much for checking out the uh, the Twitch channel. Okay, so those are where the trees are going. Uh-oh, Pepper. But Random is there with you right now, right? So... 
That should make you feel a little bit safer. <laughs> oh, this won't grow with... Mm, this is going... Also, I found one of my fossils. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Rejected Roxas, I think the villager will freak out about the tarantula scorpion. And then they will, uh, they'll essentially shoot you out of the conversation. Are there any games on the Switch you could recommend that cost $20 or less? Uh, Stardew, I think. Is 20 usually or less? Be my best suggestion. Love your channel. Thank you. Thank you so very much. I hope you enjoy uh, watching live. It's usually a little bit different than watching on, on YouTube for sure. Kicked our bum as I got in. You got it a while ago. Ooh, uh, I don't really know what else. I'd maybe say Moonlighter, but it's not for everyone. It's like a dungeon crawler. Uh, but it's really, really cute game. I'd say look into it <laughs> before you before you buy. I think that's usually less than twenty. Oh, and you don't have a tree. Gosh darn it! Oh well. But yeah, so essentially, I'll have like a little pattern of trees going around. And that would mean... So that's going to be a tree eventually, but not at the moment. <laughs> Let me actually dig up where these bushes are going. So we can't have more than 12 in a row, and this is, I think, 10, so we're not too fussed about that, thankfully. But I want Felicity to move it. Uh, I wish there were easy ways to get, move someone out because I'm tired of her being there. And I just you've been doing the diving trick and it hasn't been working. Honestly, the only way to like, and I use quotation marks here, easily move someone out is amiibo cards, which is kind of frustrating. But like you know, you wouldn't be happy if someone tried to move you out <laughs> either from your IRL home. that mean for here? So it'll be tree here. Bush where that tree currently is. Thing like that. And then... Oh yeah, that'll actually work out really nicely. I might need to get rid of this tree here. But I think that'll... Or sorry, this bush here. But I think that'll be okay. And then what I'm planning on doing up here is pure bushes. Because, uh... That rock is just really frustrating. <laughs> oh, and I think I found my other fossil. <laughs> nice. We were missing those earlier. Okay, so I'm gonna have to wait a little bit to do this side and of course the other side as well, but we started today and that's the most important thing. There we go. Okay, let's go get these fossils assessed and then we'll just sell them off. Tips for hybrids, trying to get purples to fill the gaps in my town. Honestly, um, other than like, you know, knowing which colors make which other colors, um, I usually place mine diagonally and I also plant them on the beach um, because that way other flowers won't go around them and it just keeps everything separate. Uh, so that's what I usually do. Uh, Oka? Oka Ketsu? I don't know if I'm saying your name right. Thank you so much for the follow, though. Welcome on in. 
Thank you, Alochi. Thank you. There's my Bob shirt. Yeah, they're both wearing that yellow shirt. <laughs> no worries, Lily Gaming. We'll see you later. You're hoping Nintendo will bring back Amiibo cards? I can't imagine why they wouldn't have Amiibo cards. I already know that Amiibo cards work with the Nintendo Switch. You can scan in Amiibo cards on Breath of the Wild, for example. So it would it would surprise me if the Amiibo cards didn't work with New Horizons. Okay, let me go ahead and do these here. You heard they were, yeah. I, it would very, very much surprise me if they didn't, so. I think they said they want to, but nothing's confirmed. Yeah. At the moment, there's a lot of like kind of rumors and gossip going around about what is and isn't confirmed, I think, which is a little bit hard to make sense of for New Horizons, but. Essentially, if I don't hear it directly from a Nintendo Direct, I'm not too inclined to the belief very much. Oh, Brie, I had that exact same line of dialogue with Gaston earlier. Oh boy. Okay. Um. So. Ooh, actually. It's a good thing I didn't start with this side over here because I just remembered we're getting rid of this fencing and we're changing up this area just a little bit and it's a good thing I didn't <laughs> I didn't try planting stuff there or else it would have ruined it. Was there a couple interviews as well? <laughs> maybe random, maybe. Red, you know what? I don't know if I do, but I will just in case. Played Dr. Dodgerson's? Yeah, I've played every single uh, Kingdom Hearts game. Dr. Uh, Dodgerson's is pretty good. Ooh, we're doing a ceremony thing. We haven't done one of these in a while, I feel like. Jumper for fruit? Yeah, uh, every town starts, I think, with one tree at least that has either a perfect fruit or all perfect fruit on it. I forget. Who thinks DLC will become a thing for Animal Crossing? Technically, I already did with Welcome Amiibo. I could see them doing more, for sure. For New Horizons, specifically. <laughs> uh, on to the next project. This would look a lot better if it was nighttime when I was doing this, but... We were talking about which fruit we'd like to start with in New Horizons. I'm hoping for peaches. You know what? I'm not gonna lie, so am I. And like, we make a lot of jokes on my channel about like peaches looking like bots and stuff like that, and like, haha, that's funny. <laughs> but uh, peaches were my native fruit in my very first Animal Crossing town on GameCube, so it's kind of nostalgia as well for me. But apples have really nice perfect fruit as well, so peaches or apples would be my, my favorite. <laughs> You want to start with cherries? Cherries are pretty cute. Pears or apples? Oh, someone has a flea. Who has a flea? Cube, you have a net and you- okay. I'll get him later. Oh, boy. <laughs> Anything but pears? Yeah. You want apples? Uh, that being said, though, if I start with oranges, there's gonna be some sort of jokes to be made there. <laughs> like Breath of the Wild. Yeah, no, I, I think... I think as, you know, technology and online progresses, Nintendo's always... they always feel like they're a little bit behind in terms of 
technology and online stuff in particular, but I think they, they will probably start doing DLC for stuff. Uh, so we're getting rid of the... Fence. There we go. So, if you guys don't know what we're doing in that area, um, we put down the fence, I think, really early on. And we didn't realize that we were kind of cutting into a future potential path that leads into the plaza there. So there's a really awkward little corner that juts out, essentially. I'll try and show you guys here. This little, this little, like, meh, this right here. <laughs> um, so essentially when we get rid of this, we're gonna be making this path here three wide instead of two wide. And uh, I hope it makes, it makes things look a little bit nicer. Um, I would get rid of these, but this character, Crystal, doesn't have the centerpiece paths. Mike's character does, so I gotta switch over to him, uh, which I'll probably do at some point later on. Um, am I missing one here? Oops. There we go. So that looks a little bit awkward right now, but um, we'll bring it down and it'll look a little bit better later on. Splatoon had the Octo expansion. I think New Horizons will get the Nuclei expansion where you get backstory to Nuclein's life. Get to play Storm <laughs> Can you imagine, Max? The memes from that? It'd be beautiful. Crab's wallet. <laughs> And then the thing is that also makes this area even instead of having like this little section down here that kind of juts outwards. So I'll get rid of this tree while I'm thinking about it. Uh, is it Gil? Jill? Gil? I think it's Gil. Thank you so much for that Prime sub. How are you doing today? Welcome on in here. Thank you guys so very much for putting all that love in chat. Gil, I hope you enjoy the emotes and I hope you enjoy the little heart badge next to your name in chat. If you choose to speak up, if you're a lurker, that's cool as well. Sell these off. I think I might actually switch over to Mike's character really quickly. I wanna I wanna get these these paths kinda done. Uh I'm gonna call you Thor. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on it. How are you doing today? When you sort your paths and a villager moves before you can stop them, yes. I hope that we start with no fruit and then we get to choose which fruit we start with. That would be very cool if you could like have the option of like, I don't I don't really know, I'm making this up off the top of my head, but like Tom Nook is like, oh hey, I'm going to another island. Uh, do you want me to pick up anything for you? And you could choose between one of the fruits and he can bring it back and then you can plant it. That would be kind of cool. I'm a question girl. Hello, how are you doing today? I'm sorry that uh, school's been putting a lot of pressure on you. I hope otherwise you've been doing well though. The return of Mike. Yes, if anyone is new here, Mike is my boyfriend. Uh, I made a secondary character for him. He does not play Animal Crossing, not really interested, which is fair. Um, and uh, yeah, I kind of use him for Paz. <laughs> uh, also, Burberry Blaster has just gifted a sub. So Dagger, thank you so very much, Perfect Lester. That is very much appreciated. Uh, Dagger, I hope you enjoy your emotes. 
that hair. Mike has that bedhead hair. <laughs> uh, Aripo, hello. You've been playing the leaf. You never got to say hi. That's cool. No worries. I'm glad you've been enjoying the leaf. I thought Mick was. No, no. Mick is Mick is my mortal enemy. <laughs> at this point, he follows me in the Pokemon games. Get the ladders, man. I I would, but like I just know that he'll get more. I'll get them for you in a second, though. This is essentially Mike's job. <laughs> Rover could ask you what your favorite fruit is, and that's your island fruit. That would be cool. That'd be really cool, right? At the very beginning. Rival usually is the lover. Yeah, but this is this is real life, and by real life I mean a video game, but still. <laughs> Oh boy. Um, this one will be that, I think. Yeah. There we go. So when this fence is gone, it'll look a bit better. Oh, whoops. What do you have in your pocket, Mike? Uh, Haley, mm. we were talking about this earlier, actually. I'm very much not too into it, just because, to me, City Folk and Wild World are very, very similar games. Um, just one adds in more content and looks a bit better these days. Um, I'm not crossing out Wild World entirely, but I don't have any plans to at the moment. It is on my radar for sure, though. These are just gonna be here for now. Don't, don't mind them. <laughs> Find a place for them later. Uh, what do you? What is all this? Why do you have this? I don't know why Mike is carrying all this. <laughs> you and me are <laughs> Yeah, Mike is just filling his pockets with stuff. It's like real life. It is. <laughs> Long time lurker, I've never said anything in anyone's chat ever. I hope everyone's having a good day. Oh, well, welcome on in. No, no pressure to talk, of course. I'm a lurker myself in almost everyone else's streams. Um, but welcome on in. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Let's see, what does Mike got? Mike has a message from his mom. Darling Mike. <clears throat> oh, my voice. <laughs> you don't have to be so self-reliant all the time, you know. I bet you could use a little extra spending money. Save some of it, too. Ooh, hello. Hello, you just sent me 10,000. Thanks, oh. Mom. Thanks, Mom. Love you. From Mom again. All his letters are from Mom. Dear Sweet Mike, remember when you were a kid and you ran around saying, I'm an alien from the planet Zebortron? What an interesting child. From Momatron. <laughs> That's really cute. And she sent you a fan. <laughs> From Astrid. It's not all from mom. Dear Mike, I'll be having it. A... Oh, you were invited to Astrid's birthday and you missed it by a month, you monster. <laughs> and also from mom. Darling Mike, apple picking might just be my favorite fall activity. Your father and I went to an orchard together over the weekend. Here's your share. From mom. So I think she sent him an apple. Yeah. Oh, it's a perfect apple. Snap. Mom? Why does my mom never do this for me? And it's funny because in your other game you tried so hard to get out. Uh, like, I did. Fruits. Yes. I'm getting them from mom. <laughs> yeah, for your mom is just sending them every- Oh gosh, there's a balloon too. It's, it's my luck. Uh, Picardus, give me a second. I got you. Uh, uh give me a second. I'm bad at typing. <laughs> There you go. Uh, Chris, Chrisley or Chrisali? Let me know how you want me to say that. Welcome on in. Thank you so much for the follow. ASMR. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that obnoxious? I hope it wasn't too loud. Uh, 
rid of don't get rid of that, get rid of some of this. Mike doesn't really need the money, but he's, you know, making the monies anyway. It was fine, okay, awesome. Hi Andrew, how's it going, dude? Uh, soup, soup, I go? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Thank you so much for the follow. I feel like I recognize that username. Where do I recognize that from? Okay, give me a second. I want to put this on the table because that's actually really cute. Confirmed Mike is mama's boy. He has flour for mom, I think. And he has apple for mom. That's pretty darn cute. You have to admit. <laughs> oh, Area Pole, that's fantastic. I can't wait to do that in my town. I've never planted one before uh, in New Leaf uh, either, actually. My cast to check the notice part. Alrighty then, guys. So, I'm playing as Mike at the moment, but I think you guys probably know what I'm gonna say. Um, I'm gonna be wrapping the stream up here for today. <laughs> Mainly because I want to go, ooh, I think Twitch is crashing. I want to go, ooh. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I can't see whoever's live. My Twitch following page is like, can't, it's not loading. I don't know if it's loading for anyone else, but it's not loading for me. Oh, no. It's giving me a really cute ghost picture, though. <laughs> it's like a little ghosty and it says error loading data. Yours isn't working either? Okay. Every no one's working. Anyway. <laughs> I think it might auto-host if anyone else is online. Oh, is it working for you now? Uh, no, it's not working for me. Anyway, it's fine. Um, it might auto-host if someone else is online, but if not, then... Either way. Thank you guys so very much for watching and hanging out with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys uh, tomorrow if I'm feeling good. <laughs>